This again, huh? All right. All right. Fine. Okay. So you've already gone here. You've done all that stuff. You've already got here. If you don't recognize this, go back and watch the other video. Uh, what we're going to be doing also, you should know where your file, your coaster, your .nc, 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 that file you need because we're going to go and use an outside agent to actually test our G code. Okay. So what you need to do, you need to file up, fire up your Googler. Where is my Googler? Give me the Googler and just type in NC viewer. Generally the first one that pops up is ncviewer.com. Hey, can't get any better than that. So what this is going to allow you to do is it'll upload, like you can click sample G code and watch what it does. And then you can watch a tool run and that's pretty neat. But what we're going to do with it is we're going to open our file. This is why it's important for you to be able to know where your file is. And I want to load coaster two. blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. So now what we need to do is we need to look at this thing in great detail. Um, my eyes are killing me with this. <clears throat> the maneuverability things. Okay, I got to hide that. If you click this. Nope. Yeah. Pan is left click. So you can pan it, move it around. Orbit was right click. And then zoom out, zoom in with the wheel mouse. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're able to actually watch our tool path. Okay. We need to make sure it's not going anywhere too crazy. For example, what the heck is this thing here? What is this? What is that? It's like, like a space elevator or something. I don't even know. Either way, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at our G code, or I should say the machine is going to be looking at our G code for us. Uh, I recognize this G20. That means go home. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop it. Now we're going to play it and it's rolling. And you see how it's going? You see how it's going so slow and you see how I only have a five minute video. So what I'm going to be basically telling you guys is you need to watch this thing go. And while it's going, I'm going to talk about a few other things you should look at. For one, you should make sure that none of these yellow tool paths that are here at the top are actually below the surface. If they are below the surface, they better be vertical because what that's going to do is it is going to allow the tool while it is running to run horizontally. That can be very bad, you know, when it's running horizontally and it goes across your surface and it's not actually at the depth you expect it to be, it makes for a bad day. Also, you need to double check to make sure you have your tabs in place. Those should be very readily apparent here, okay? So you should have those on all four sides. Let's pan that over move 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 all right cool and so then what i would invite you to do is to watch this thing go through and i believe you can speed it up blah blah blah. either way you're basically looking to make sure that this is going to do what you think that it will okay Ooh, there we go nice and fast so if this thing actually goes through and if it cuts out your thing correctly, if it does not drag across your stock, then you're good. Your G code works. However, show toolpath, hide toolpath after the position. Ooh, there we go. And yeah, that's hiding it before the position. That doesn't make any sense. Either way, you want to look at this thing and eyeball it to make sure it's actually doing what you expect for it to do. Okay. If you don't remember what your G code is actually supposed to be doing, I would recommend you click back on inventor and you watch those specific parts of it and you simulate it there. Okay. Um, this thing, you can close that. We don't need that. We're not going to play with that. We are just going to look at this dot NC viewer and we are going to then go ahead and look at how it behaved here. Um, I've been able to spot failures on this that I were, was not able to in the Autodesk one. So please take a moment, watch the thing cut. Okay. So once it's done, once you believe that it's gone through and cut, then cool. You can submit your G code for fabrication. If you have any questions, be sure you call me over.